right now. Again, some people say, oh, it, it's dwelling on the negative. All you're talking about is fouling. No, I'm not. All I'm talking about is not fouling. There is a difference. <laughs> All right? And that's technique-based as well. And we, it's like anything. Your players will be good at exactly what you want them to be good at. Pretty simple. All right? The common one, boxing out. Hands up if you have a team that's superb at boxing out. Terrific. No liars. Terrific. All right? Um, so, but how often do we do this? This is how we fix boxing out issues. At the game, on the sideline. Andrew, box out! You've got to box out! That doesn't work. Andrew, get a body and box out. That should work now. Guess what? It doesn't work. Why? We haven't practiced it. Now I'm asking him to do something that he's like, mate, we haven't done that in six weeks and now I'm the worst person in the world for doing it. Your players will be good at exactly what you want them to be good at. So if you want to play without fouls, you've got to practice it. All right? If you want to stay out of the bonus, and trust me, if you can stay out of the bonus every quarter, you're going to win more games than you lose. Just simple as that. If you can, if you can dominate three throw differential, it's going to be important. So now what we've got is this. Come up here with a, a ball. You're up here, friend. I'm going to that basket. Now you're on. You're right here where I am. Now, so we're going to start with the offense with an advantage. Partner up and get a ball each game while we're doing that. So, give the ball to the defense. You're going to flip it to him. Yep, then walk through it. You're going to drive. Now, get in here. When you get to the charge halo, what are you going to try and do? All right? And then, yep, wall up. But what are you going to try and do? Jump up and back. Let's see if we can have a look at that. Go, go, get there, up. Good off again. It's not soccer. It's good offense. Pretty good defense. He did exactly as he, as he was asked. If that happens... That's why our game's better than that other silly game with a round ball, right? People score in our game. Now, if, you know, that other game, I just teach defense 99% of the time, right? You only got to stop one goal, you're going to win. Now, so you're going to do that again. It was really good. Then, just walk through it. Just walk through it. All right, just score. All right, now, give me the ball. Give me the ball. You're on offense. Lead and get open, deny it. No, no, him. Now, you're going to play one on one to half, halfway. One on one to halfway. Okay, got that. Let's see the whole thing now. Let's see the whole thing. So we're out of position. We can test without fouling. Go. Get there, get there. Wall up. Get it, get it. Ball. Next, next pair, let's go. Next pair, quickly. Stay this side, stay this side, come on. Test without fouling. Ball. Good, next, let's go. Go. Now stop. This is coaching. It's hard on them. All right, and this isn't about them, but this is where you've got to be a ruthless dictator. Uh, that's not good enough, gang. Now they're thinking, hold it, man, I don't even know you, you I, don't, I can't understand you, and now you're in. But as coaches, you get what you tolerate. I asked them to get in pairs and get organised, all right, and they didn't go and get a ball and whatever else. And, and look how, any further, they're going to be in Brighton. Look how, well, why are they there? So their positioning, your positioning is important. Get up here so you're ready to go. Ball, over there, ball starts with the D. Go, go, get there. Wall up, wall up. Good girl. Ball here, ball here. Get open, get open, get open. Good. Go. Good, good. Stay down. Good. Ball here. Good. 
Good. Good. Oh. Good. Ball. All right. Now hold up. Now the challenge is, the challenge is, and they're trying to be compliant. Basket, basketball is a multifaceted environment, especially defensively. All right. One of the... One of the best teaching cues I've ever heard in coaching, Brian Gorgian, he said, going from one stance to another remains the most difficult fundamental challenge in basketball. Going from one stance to another remains the most difficult fundamental challenge in basketball. So we're going from being in a position where we're out of position to try and slide, run, contain. Now coming here, now I realize I'm in the halo. Now I've got to go to the next thing. That's difficult. There's three changes to go there. What's happening, because they're trying to be compliant, is they're doing this. As she walks through it, all right, that's not defense. Stance, you might have to run. You want to try and get to a slide. When you sense that you're in or near the halo, that's when we jump up and back and wall up and play without fouls. All right, let's go. Good, good girl. Now, yeah, good. Good girl. Ball. Get open. Good. Get it. Ball. All right, now, as we build with our theme of foul discipline, there was just six fouls. None of them were here, which is a good thing. Where were they? What were they? Reaching and hand checking. All right, now we all go crazy when the ref calls hands on. But if you've played, you know the open palm can make a really significant difference in what an offensive player can do. Really significant. It's subtle. But I'll tell you what, it can be the difference between getting by someone and not. So they're doing a great job here, and that's why we're doing the second part of the drill. They're playing without fouls here in a very difficult and challenging environment. We're giving the offense an opportunity. We're giving them advantage. Then straight away on the catch, four out of six players went, boop, hand on hip. All right, now I don't coach competitively anymore, so I can be the most magnanimous person of all time, all right? But I tell you what, if one of my kids goes bang and puts hands on, they call it, I'm going to say, fair enough. Do you believe that, Runch? <laughs> all right, but it is fair enough. You go back and watch the film later, that's a foul. Your point guard, your dominant point guard, when he's bringing the ball down the floor, she's bring, what do you hate? What do you say? Get their hands off them. Get their... All right, so guys, you do a great job here and then you've got to have great pressure over there without putting your hands on people. Okay, here we go. Ball up. Good. Ah, don't try and block it. Ball. Good. Come get it. Come get it. Good. Bad. Bad. Ball up. Ball. Get open. Good, a lot better. Here we go. Wall up. Good girl. Excellent. Foul. All right, hold up. Hold up. All right, that's good. You, you've picked it up. You've gone from trying to block everything to, to do that. You know what happens? You get to stay in games. So it's really important when you do these drills, and again, we've, we've spent a period of time on them, but... I would do these like brushing your teeth. I would do them every day, but do them for two minutes. There's not something, but you wouldn't have a practice session where you wouldn't shoot layups. You wouldn't have a practice session where you wouldn't uh, shoot the ball. Like, you know, you wouldn't come into a practice and say, we're not going to shoot layups, we're not going to shoot the jump shot, we're just going to do this. I would highly doubt that, all right? Now, you might have a session where you prioritize certain things, 
But if we're saying the ability to defend without fouling is important, why are we not practicing it every time we practice? And you see here, right, and some of them may have been exposed to different levels of this, they've made change. That's coaching, the ability to extract change. Can they, can they play without their hands? Can they defend in this 80% land of opportunity without fouling? It might even be the warm-up. You know, we do the same, same warm-up. Why can't we do stuff defensively in the warm-up? It's not high intensity, because really, right, it, it's just here, that. Just get them to practice that so it becomes intrinsic and it becomes what they're, they're wanting to do. Now,